I'll show you another maneuver I can do with my tongues right now that you never knew was possible. But lady, somehow, somehow, you've dreamt about it your entire life. It looks like this. See all the ladies are giggling right now and some of the men are looking really confused. <laughs> ladies, if you're standing next to a confused man, go stand next to a different man. <laughs> It'll work out better for you in the end. But ladies and gentlemen, I do want to tell you this. I did not travel all the way from Austin, Texas, here to Dublin just to wiggle my tongues at people in the street. As much fun as that is sometimes. No, I came here because today I want to share with you some of my favorite acts from the great tradition that is the sideshow. The first act I'm going to show you is an absolute classic. It has been performed around the world for centuries. It started off with Indian fakirs that gradually made its way to Europe and then all the way over to America, where in 1940 a man named Melvin Burkhardt described it as the Human Blockhead Act. I'm going to show you my version of it right now that I like to call the Lizard Blockhead for obvious reasons. I won't just show you the act, I will teach you how to do it so that you can try it at home, kids. Watch carefully as I do this, you'll learn how to do it. You only need three things to perform the act. The first thing you need is a hammer. The second thing you need is a steel spike. The third thing you need is someone crazy enough to use the hammer to drive the spike directly into their face. And folks, I will remind you again, that nothing I do is a trick or an illusion. Everything you see on my body and everything I do with my body is real and dangerous. I am risking my life and my health for your entertainment. So let's pound a nail into the lizard's face. Seriously? You guys were just gonna sit there and let me do it, weren't you? My God, what's wrong with you? I come out here, stand in the middle of the street, and I announce that I'm about to commit suicide, and all any of you did was reach for your cameras thinking, I gotta get a picture of this. <laughs> yeah, trying to get some YouTube hits or something. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you are the sort of people that will sit idly by while a freak kills himself in the street by hammering a nail into his face, well, you're just the people I've been looking for. Because I am gonna hammer a nail into my face. And I'm gonna do it right now. Go ahead, get the cameras ready. Take pictures, put them online, make me famous, ladies and gentlemen. Here goes, nail in the face. Now, I am just getting started. The nail will go all the way into my face. In order to make sure that everybody gets to see it closely, I'm going to work my way around the circle, tapping it with the hammer. Here we go. That was for you. Over here. Here we go for you guys. You're the one I want trying this at home later. It's all right, I fly back to America in the morning. Try and find me and sue me. <laughs> and over here. There's a little bit more to go, so I'm gonna come back to center and finish it off. Oh yeah, I can feel it tickle my brain now. <laughs> Check it out, I'm at work. You thought your job sucked. <laughs> Now, folks, this is a six-inch long steel spike that I have just driven into my face for your entertainment. It is also your cue to applaud. If you've got a goddamn Etch-a-Sketch, go ahead and get that thing ready. Because I promise you, ladies and gentlemen, when you leave here, tell your friends, your family, your co-workers about how you watched a completely tattooed freak screw himself in the street. Nobody's going to believe you unless you've got the picture. So let's do it now. Here we go, cranial corkscrew coming through the face. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ladies and gentlemen, the cranial corkscrew. 